<laughs> what is up everybody Hans is back today I just uh, learned a lot learned six hours roughly and um, I'm gonna introduce them something that I'm currently doing and um, let you know what is the differences between data or developer and data analyst for me the uh, position that I'm currently have or I'm currently doing is called data developer or big data developer and the big data developer is a little bit different from a data analyst actually there are a lot of differences between it. Uh, well for me for the big data developer or data uh, big data engineer they are managing for like like billions of billions of uh, data well, for the data analysis, probably they don't have such a huge amount of data, like millions of data from a local company that generates their local data. For example, they're selling products and they got this or orders or the locations or something like that. The data is not lo that large. For the big data, for example, the whole bank or the whole system or the stock market, the center of the stock market or something like that they ha have to handle like a, like a few TB of data you know one gigabyte equals to 1024 megabyte so those are the data that we need to handle this is the like huge amount of data well in that case there are a lot of like unstructured data those data are not like catalyzed there those data are not that uh, or people need to use it they need to manage it like uh, people call it uh, data dictionary or index so those people are my work or my department's work is going to manage all those SR data and put into the position or we call it ODS which means these resources are the original resources and put into a position that we need to sometimes calculate it first and then we're going to manage it and uh, put into a different departments because those of data actually from like um, solar positions or different uh, like our our centers from different parts we need to give it to the specific uh, specific place and we need to handle it for the tools we are going to use a lot of different tools you know because of those billions of billions a small amount of number because of the numbers huge, only one server sometimes will not be able to directly put into it because this server, this online server has a limited uh, space. So they have to put into the hundreds and hundreds of different servers, you know, different places. So in that case, we need to put this data and use it like different tools, you know, Heave, Hadoop, Spark. Those are the things that we need to use. Well, for me, I'm not using that. Well, what I'm doing right now is I use data, different database, and I use this call, a process called ETL process. E means extract, extracted data. It means like I get it from the nugget, I get it from this mountain, I get something from it, I get some plants, I get some food from it. That's called, it's a process of extract. And then we're going to use it to do something like I'm going to cook. So I buy some food and then I get it to, I cook it. I cook a dinner, I cook a lunch. This is the process we call transaction. And then I'm going to make it to the place, to the, to the place called DW. Where it means like uh, you put it to the data, then I give it to the, reality part or well, I have to see it into a different dimensions or different timeline for example there's an order so who bought it at which time at which specific place at, at what departments or what equipment so we are going to see it into a different dimensions so in the future when we want to get it we will know all right this is a data that is going to we can use it to to analyze it of course in the future even though the data developer are not that uh, similar to the data analysis but some works is a you know our union are, are similar because we also need to analyze it 
But the very cool part of the data developer is that we're going to see it uh, at uh, like uh, at life, like uh, something has changed, and then this data or or this report, or we are going to see a huge screen to see the things change and locally and different different things at the same time. So this is a really cool part, and this is a system that we are going to develop. That's the things we're going to do. So I'm not sure if you guys really want to learn this part, and um, so for you guys who want to learn something about um, data analysis, I think there's some tools you can use. Uh, those are the part of uh, Python you can use R. Those are the things that you can directly use for like data uh, or statistics, or you can use it to analyze some smart amount of data. And um, there are a lot of tools inside of it. Visualization, you can see sea birds or meta lips or or non NumPy pandas. And uh, I highly recommend you guys to use this book called the uh, Python for Data Analysis, the data waggling with uh, pandas, NumPy, and IPython. And um, that's a one tool you can use. Also, actually, the Excel, you can just use Excel to make a report. And it's, you know, it's a very simple tool. You learned it when you were in a high school or in a college, you use it quite often. And it has a lot of uh, functions. And if you're really uh, good at it, if you are expert, at it, always you can do basic fundamental uh, data analysis to just be using it. But if, if you want to improve the more or further efficiency, definitely Python should be a really cool tool. Well, for the another tools, if you just uh, want to develop like a data engineer, you probably need to use a lot of database. There are so many different uh, types of database, Mon MongoDB or um, MySQL or Hive, uh, Oracles. Those are tools that that you definitely need to learn and those are the tools that definitely need to, the core logics are all the circle the circle is the language that uh, you know you to you use to analyze different data and use it to 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 search or or select you can create different tables you can generate some data or structures and by using it is really convenient and you know there are so many different report tools and you can directly get the data from circles and generally generates a beautiful report like uh, I know who for example Tableau and Power BI those are the two that you can directly use it and generate some beautiful reports and visualize the different pictures and statistics sorry I don't know how to spell this word and those are the things you can use and it's really powerful so I think this is a really important knowledge you can learn right now because based on learning those things in the future you can make better decisions in terms of like um, investing or business and if you are the CEO or you are, you are the founder or you are the or I mean you are the entrepreneur definitely you also need to learn those tools because um, sometimes you can directly hire a, a business analyst the data analysis you can do it by yourself so this is the thing that I want to introduce you about what I'm currently doing and it's really challenging work because in my department I know that in the future like in my recently work sometimes you need to handle thousands of thousands of tables and uh, we are going to like get the data flow and transfer it into the place and I need to you know I need to start it I need to write some codes to manage it all and um, so I'm going to keep learning and I hope in the future I can be a formal employee in this big company and um, later on it will definitely just going to help me to improve my ability in doing a lot of different things and it gives me more value and improve my in general a lot of different aspects for work, work with team, I work with different 
you know how to manage your team, how to make decisions, how to make projects. And、uh, you know, Hans Lee is a really ambitious person. But sometimes I want you guys and me actually talk to me directly. Being patient, specifically being more patient, and use this period of time, like being patient to learn something. So in the future, I will be able to have this ability to do more, quit more, and、uh, fulfill my huge ambitions. This is what I'm talking today, and I hope you guys enjoy this 10-minute video. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.